Hi, my name is Lillian. I'm a postdoc uh, research fellow at the Animal Science Department. And for the Alfalfa in the South series, I'll be talking about environmental benefits of alfalfa introduction into forage systems. Generally, when we talk about forage systems, we tend to focus on yield. But uh, with proper management, they can also contribute to increase soil fertility and water quality, nutrient cycling, carbon sequestration, and biodiversity. Generally, when we talk about these uh, examples, we tend to be talking about ecosystem services. Ecosystem services are uh, defined as benefits people obtain from ecosystems. And for example, um, we have here provision of food and clothing and tourism. So management practices uh, can help to improve ecosystem service delivery. And among of them, we have the incorporation of legumes, which can decrease nitrogen in fertilizer input and improve forage yield and quality. Alfalfa is a perennial legume with high yield and forage quality that requires more intensive management than most uh, grass used in the South. And alfalfa is generally used as hay, hay ledger silage, and undergrazing management. In the Southern US, uh, there are challenges with alfalfa uh, associated with alfalfa stands uh, persistence due to prolonged droughts, passing disease pressure, and competition with C4 grasses. So the main benefits that uh, we see from alfalfa stands, one of them uh, is nitrogen fixation, which happens through uh, an association that legumes are able to make with uh, rhizobium, which is a soil bacteria. This bacteria forms nodules in the roots, which are here just represented by, by those little um, black dots. And this bacteria can convert inaccessible uh, nitrogen from air, from the atmosphere, to forms that plants are able to use. Then nitrogen can be available uh, for neighbor plants when they are in mixture with grasses, could remain on soil when legumes are in rotation with other crops, or could be incorporated uh, on, into soil, increasing its fertility. So one of the major uh, ways of uh, nutrients enter the soil is through plant litter. Plant litter is just senescent material that plants deposit uh, throughout a period into uh, the soil surface. So here we can see uh, an of uh, Bermuda stand in beginning to middle uh, fall period. And we can see this mat, this dense mat of uh, senescent material that has been deposed throughout summer and uh, beginning of fall. And also we can see that some of that material has already started being incorporated on the soil surface. So plant litter acts as a nutrient pool in grasslands, especially for those systems under low fertilizer input. And in this case, those systems would have uh, generally low nitrogen uh, concentration on litter, which could compromise the decomposition process. So that's why legumes can help to increase um, the quality of this material going back to soil, which would help to uh, release nutrients on soil for plants. Besides, the organic nitrogen input decreases costs associated with nitrogen fertilizer purchase, storage, transportation, and application, while it can also decrease losses during application. 
So through this process, uh, the input of nitrogen increase forage quality and quantity and improve diet quality reflecting on animal performance. Then animals uh, generally can retain approximately 30% of nutrients and help to, um, to some of those that nutrient to go back to soil through excreta decomposition, which we call nutrients, it's a part of the nutrient cycling. So on this uh, figure, figure, we see what is happening um, on the, the system that plants capture soil energy through photosynthesis to grow. Then animals are um, consuming this forage and uh, inputting nutrient back through the posi deposition of uh, feces and urine throughout the area, which is part of the nutrient cycling. While animals um, provide products that are going off farm through uh, to be sold on market as milk and meat, and this is a provision of um, animal products. And some some places, some farms uh, are also associated with tourism. So these are some examples of ecosystem services you can have on an forage system. Uh, and if you have legumes included on this system, they can also contribute through nitrogen fixation, as we just mentioned. Another uh, service that it's uh, very important from forage plants is that especially perennial forages, because they have limited soil disturbance, can improve um, plant, uh, plant material deposit back to the soil, which contributes to increase carbon sequestration. Uh, and in the case of uh, legumes that help to improve forage quality, just have uh, a direct impact on uh, carbon sequestration and soil fertility, increasing them while helping to mitigate greenhouse gases because uh, plants are able to sequester more carbon from atmosphere and deposit um, on soil. Besides, there's an increase on soil organic matter, which is just uh, the incorporation of plant material that happens into soil. And this is important because it helps with water infiltration, water holding capacity, soil fertility, decreases soil compactation, compaction, uh, and can increase uh, pool of nutrients and their availability to plants. Another uh, important um, service that alfalfa stands and its incorporation forage systems can have is to increase biodiversity. Here we see, we will see a, a little video that I recorded recently on our alfalfa Bermuda grass system and uh, see how wildlife is very active on that, on them. On this case, we, uh, we saw we saw an increase of uh, pollinators and uh, wildlife in general, uh, for example, birds there. And generally, alfalfa stands can serve as habitat, shelter, and food for many uh, animals and beneficial insects, inclu including pollinators, which has been a general concern um, due to their decrease on some areas of the world. And for example, in US, approximately a third of uh, honey comes from alfalfa stands. So moving forward, we, as I, I just mentioned, we have been conducting an alfalfa Bermuda grass um, research project 
uh, which is a moot state research with uh, three uh, U.S. universities on the Southeast area. And we will also be focus focusing on these um, systems in, in alfalfa uh, programs and workshops through ex the, ex the Alabama Extension Program. And uh, we will hopefully soon have um, an opportunity to visit the demonstration sites we have ongoing on the state. Also, we will be releasing an alfalfa survey to aiming to address main challenges related to its establishment in the Southeast region, which is going to become available on May, May 13th. So in summary, uh, the incorporation of alfalfa can help decrease nitrogen fertilizer input, increase forage yields and quality, improve soil fertility and health, and increase biodiversity. Uh, now I would like to uh, thank you for your time and please uh, get in contact with me through uh, my email or my phone number here on the bottom in case you have any questions. Thank you.